With this video, I'd like to show you how to play in the key of B major, specifically the B major scale. Woohoo! The B major scale is the first of uh, four scales in the order that I teach them, where you have the easiest fingering going. Okay, for the for the B scale, you don't even have to do hand separate practice if you don't want to. I'm going to show you the simple fingering that applies to B major, F sharp slash G G flat major, and D flat major and F major. They all have the same fingering and you're about to see why in just a minute, but I'm just gonna start with B major and then <clears throat> you can watch another video to see the, the B major scales, arpeggios, cadence, and burlesque, but for this one, just the B major fingering. All right, let's try it. All right. The key of B major. Of course, um, the most important thing at first is that you have a picture of the scale in your mind. And once you see the picture, I, mean, I think you're gonna to start to understand why the fingering on this one is so easy. Well, you will understand it after I show you. But the, the B scale looks like this. You wanna have that picture in your mind. The image of the scale is very important to your understanding of the scale and just your knowledge of it. So there's the scale. The notes are, are B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B. You'll notice we use all five of the black notes. Now any scale where you use all five of the black notes is instantly an easy fingering, and here's why. You're going to use uh, the same two fingers in both hands on the two black notes. So I, like, I call those the twos. I'm not talking about finger numbers, I'm talking about a group. So I call those the twos that are on the two, and then the same three fingers in both hands on the three black notes. So I call those the threes. So in this video, when I refer to twos and threes, I'm not talking about finger numbers. I'm talking about groups of fingers. So here's how it goes. In the key of B, as well as a few other scales, you're going to think thumbs on the white notes, twos on the two black notes, thumbs on the white note, threes on the three black notes. So I call it the thumbs, twos, thumbs, threes fingerings. Everybody do that. Thumbs, twos, thumbs, threes. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's the fingering. And I'm going to show it to you now. I'm going to put the metronome on. Actually, no metronome right now. I just want to do it nice and slow once, and then I'll do it with the metronome. But once you realize all you're doing is putting the thumbs on the white notes, you're in good shape. Now, the funny thing is, you can start with your thumbs on the white notes, and then your twos. But at the very beginning of the scale, you can break the pattern by pretending that your fourth finger is a thumb. Okay? That, the reason I use start with the fourth finger in the uh, B scale is that these two fingers are going to be on the two black notes right away. So we'll start with the fourth finger, or you can start with the thumb. I'm going to pretend the fourth finger is a thumb. Thumbs, twos, thumbs on the E, threes. See those three fingers? Threes. And then the thumbs are on B, and we're going to go another octave. Twos, thumbs are on E. And then your group of three. And then at the top, you can use your right hand number five, pretending to be a thumb. Okay, so we still have the pattern. Thumbs, threes, coming down. Thumbs, group of two. Thumbs, a group of three. Thumbs, twos. And then at the end, fourth finger pretending to be a thumb. So that is the B scale. Let me do it once with a metronome. Um, usually when I first have somebody do a, a scale, we do um, even slower than this, but this one's easy enough. We'll do 120, but I'm gonna hold each note for two beats, since I'm assuming people are brand new at it. Here it goes, ready? Thumbs, twos, thumbs, threes. You didn't even have to practice it hand separately. In fact, it's better to do it hands together just because you can think of your groups like this. Thumbs, twos, thumbs, threes. If you want to do it hands separately, go right ahead. It's easy. Um, but it's just as easy to play with both hands. So, I hope you have fun with that.